What's going on guys? What's going on? What is going on? Beautiful day, 65 degrees, it's blowing 40 mile an hour, 20, 25 mile an hour winds, 45 plus gusts. Awesome day to go windsurfing, fly a kite, uh, parasailing, hang gliding, uh, hot air balloon for sure. You'll move really fast. Uh, gotten a lot of requests. You guys want to know what I'm throwing right now. This is what I'm throwing right now. I just pulled some rods out, what I've been catching. I fished about four days last week. I'm <clears throat> just trying to uh, socially distance myself, get out of the house. Um, wife's working from home, so it's kind of nice to get out for a little bit. Um, but I've got five, six rods um, that I'm throwing right now. I'm just trying to keep everything. The water was 40s, 50s. Um, it's 50 degrees when I fished last week, but we had 70s the last couple days. Hoping to fish tomorrow. I'm guessing it's going to be in the 50s, like mid-50s. Um, it's popping really good, but then it's supposed to get down in the 30s, 40s uh, for the next five or six, seven days. So it's going to level back out again. Um, everybody's out fishing. So start out with bait number one. It's going to be the Ned Rig. The Ned Ned Rig. It's pretty destroyed. It's actually pretty dirty. This is the uh, new Omega Slayer Ned Rig screw lock with the Biospawn Exo stick that I cut in half. Uh, it's just a stupid bait. It catches fish. I caught a couple fish yesterday at the local little lake pond or lake over here. Um, <clears throat> I'm throwing on a discontinued Dobbins DX701C finesse. It is on my uh, Elphus Airstream. Four pound Missouri hybrid, kick ass combo, blast to catch fish on. Um, fun bait, awesome. I'm also throwing a finesse football jig as well on this combo. A little heavy though, um, but that's, I mean, if the bite's slow, just drag that or hop it and they smoke it. Uh, I caught some fish on it two weeks ago. I think we call it 20, 25 fish on it. Um, I mean, it just catches fish. Nothing big on it, but it's a, it's a fun bait to throw if you're a beginner or just want to throw something. This time of year, it's great. Rod number two. Oh, it is, of course, the jig. This is the Omega Half Flip in Inferno Craw with the Reaction Innovations. This is the color classic color that I got when I was at the classic it's kind of a red orangey yellow black brown uh, matches a great bright dirty water color we've gotten a ton of rain the last couple weeks so the water has been a little off color um, I caught a good fish on it last week when I took a buddy out flipping really shallow wood cover uh, just an awesome spring color you know springtime bait I'm throwing it on 20 pound Lake Fork floral hybrid pro on a Dobbins Ecstasy 755, Daiwa Steez Limited, ZPI Spool, uh, Carbon Handle. It's pretty much like one of my go-to jig rods. Typically, I am using this for like football jigs, uh, open water stuff because it's only 20 pound line. I typically use 25. And this is uh, a little less abrasion resistant than like Tatsu or uh, Brazex. Awesome, awesome combo though. Throw the jig a lot. I'm hoping to uh, probably toss it tomorrow if we can get out. Um, if my buddy can get out, hopefully. <clears throat> but that's always a standby. The jig is the jig is the jig. Always catches fish. Um, you can switch up colors, you know, the natural browns, the uh, bluegill colors like the blue pearls, the green pumpkin orange, stuff like that. I'm just using the reds because it just stands out in the dirtier water. You can also throw like a black blue chartreuse as well. Um, bait number two, just for flipping, a little bit more, uh, uh, I'd say finesse, is the Texas Rig. Texas Rig Beaver. Another limited color from Reaction Innovations that I picked up at the Classic. It is kind of like black light. Um, it's black, blue, purple, black flake. Awesome color as well. Um, this is a quarter or a half or three eighths. I can't remember. I think it's a three eighths uh, tungsten weight. Um, great color as well. 
but I'm throwing this in like thick, thick cover, a little bit more natural, a little bit more slimmer profile than let's say the jig. I'm just kind of hopping this and dragging this over uh, lay downs as well. We also have pad stems that died off, but they're still there, so you can flip pads and all that kind of stuff. Um, just a solid bait. I'll probably be using this more and more as the uh, season goes on, just because the fish will start moving up on beds here. Probably the next month or so. Depends on our weather. Um, they started early last year, so I'm hoping they do it again this year. Another one. These are like uh, covering water baits. These are all my horizontal baits. Going with the red theme again. This is my Slasher 1.5. Um, and my Inferno Craw, or yeah, Inferno or Fuego Craw. <clears throat> it it kind of matches that uh, jig. It is red, purple, orange, black. Awesome color. Um, this is 15 pound Yuzuri, or, uh, Lake Fork Power Silk. I love this line. I've used it for almost 10 years probably. It is a great, great line. Square bill just covers water right now. Catch a ton of fish on it. I can bang it off rocks, uh, you know, lay downs, throw it around the uh, pad stems. I'm throwing it on. Um, this is an older Daiwa Champion 705 CBMF glass. This is a Daiwa TDZ Eyes Limited Pearl. It is a very rare reel um, with a Bass Art carbon handle, bokehs, all that stuff. All my stuff's pretty tricked out. Um, I've just had this rod, sentimental value, awesome. It is a killer square bill rod. Great action to it. Uh, it's my go-to square bill rod. But that is another springtime bait. I've got two more, similar but not similar, two different colors. <clears throat> this is the spinnerbait. I whacked them last week on the spinnerbait. I threw it pretty much exclusively. Um, since it's been so windy, it's a little easier to throw this and the next bait. Um, this is the uh, Hypergill that is not on Omega's website. I've been custom painting them for myself uh, probably for a few months just to test them out and see how they've been doing. I cut, I painted up a couple more. But this is the half ounce Genesis TI. Titanium, tunable titanium wire. We got the lock here, and you can change out the blades. I'm throwing this on a 20 pound uh, Seaguar Invisex. Dobbins Sierra 703C. And then this is a Daiwa Steez A 6.3 to 1. Zipi handle. Bangs, all that kind of jazz, super smooth reel. I have caught probably 600 to 700 fish on this combo right here. When I tested out the Rapture, um, some spinner baits, it is a freaking workhorse. This reel is still holding up. It is great. Um, I think this is one of Dio's better, best reels they've made in a very, very long time. Love this combo. Um, it handles a half ounce fine, three eighths, great. I wouldn't go probably more than half ounce. Covers a lot of water, awesome combo. I'm gonna toss it a lot tomorrow. Um, even though it's gonna be a little sunny, I might have to start flipping all day, which is totally fine with me. But my last combo is non Dobbins. You guys might have seen this picture on Instagram and Facebook. Just messing around. This is an awesome, awesome square bill ride. It is a discontinued Mega Bass Tomahawk GT3, GTA 3? Yeah, GT3. Six foot six. It's a sheer you. I am throwing the Rapture on it. I just wanted to test it out, see how it was. Um, it's got plenty of backbone to it. It's a softer tip. On the brand new Steez A. Uh, 6.3 to 1. Uh, tricked out the bearings. Bass or carbon handles. You can see I tricked out the knobs as well. These are SLP pink knobs with upgraded ZPI bearings. Awesome search bait this time of year. This bait is incredible. Um, this is the coleslaw head. I just put a white skirt on it with the uh, Biospawn plasma tail. Kind of 
sets off the color instead of having white on white on white. Does a little contrast to it. Um, super smooth, extremely fun combo to throw. These are pretty much my spring go-to baits right now. Um, yeah, I'm still throwing a jerk bait and stuff. <clears throat> but the way the water is going right now, these fish are moving quickly and they're moving to the bank. A lot of people are catching them at the bank right now. Uh, my other, you know, eight, nine rod would be like a swim bait. Like a XO swim, three and a half inch, four inch, whatever. Uh, just to cover water as well. The water, you know, it's still in that 50s, so you can still get away with that. But those are... This is pretty much what I'm throwing right now, is these rods. Pulled them right out, didn't tie anything on. That's it. But that's what I'm throwing right now. Thanks, guys. Stay safe. Social distance. Do what you can. This is a weird, weird, weird time for uh, the country and everybody. Um, it's just odd. Uh, just trying to get out. I've been staying home. Wife's been home at work for over two weeks. She's got a couple more weeks. She's got to stay at home. So smash that thumbs up, guys. Enjoy it while you can. Um, it's only a couple weeks. We'll get back to normalcy, hopefully. Um, appreciate you for watching. Smash the thumbs up. Share it. I think we just hit 2,500 subscribers. I don't really do this daily, so I appreciate it. We'll talk to you guys later. Smash it.